Close to call, just 52 votes separate congressional candidates Lori Trahan and Dan Coe. And now the Secretary of State has impounded the ballots. And that's a sign that this race is likely headed for a recount. Here's WBZ's Christina Rex. This race proves what we knew all along, that every vote truly counts. Unofficial District 3 Democratic primary winner Lori Trahan only holds the race by 52 votes over her closest challenger, Dan Coe. She's declaring victory, but he is not conceding. Now that 100% of the votes have been counted, I'm confident that I am your Democratic nominee. Coe's campaign says it's waiting for all ballots to be officially counted, including what he calls possibly hundreds of provisional ballots, ballots that need to be reviewed for voter eligibility. A recount is not automatic, but Coe's campaign is pursuing one, a reality that Trahan saw coming on election night. Absolutely. You know, we'll, uh, we obviously want everyone to be confident in the results of this election. Should that recount not go in his favor, his campaign says he's ready to throw his support behind Trahan, writing, if at the end of this process, Lori is declared the winner, Dan will offer his enthusiastic support for her in the general election. Trahan, in a speech Wednesday, offered her praise for the nine people who ran against her. I want to thank all my opponents in this race, all of whom have real visions that add to our party. Dan Coe's campaign has until Friday to collect 500 signatures and petition for that recount. Now, because the margin is so close in this case, it would be a district-wide recount, meaning that votes would be hand-counted in every city and town in the district. In Andover, Christina Rex, WBZ News.